All right, so before in the last lesson we talked about how to find zeros of quadratic equations or quadra using the quadratic formula. Um, and we talked about before that another method of finding zeros for um, quadratic equations. Um, now we're going to talk about how we find the minimum or maximum of a parabola, which a parabola, as you know, is the shape that's represented, and we'll talk about it on the next slide, the shape represented by a quadratic equation. So, a few key vocab words in this section. First, parabola, like I said, the shape of a graph of a quadratic equation. So you're given a quadratic equation, the shape it makes on the coordinate plane is called a parabola. The minimum is when A is positive, the graph of a quadratic equation opens upward. The lowest point of the parabola is the minimum. And then just the opposite, when A is negative, the graph of a quadratic equation opens downward. And the highest point on the parabola is the maximum. So we're going to talk about how we're going to find the maximum and minimum points. Because on the state test, they'll ask you a lot about the zeros, where, they cross the, where the parabola crosses the x-axis, and what its minimum or maximum is. And then lastly, the vertex is just the minimum or maximum point. So the actual point itself is called the vertex. So just to review, what is the form for a quadratic equation or function? So we got to remember what the form of a quadratic equation is. Remember, it is ax squared plus bx plus c. And then if we're finish, finishing it out, it equals zero. We said it equal to zero because that's when we're trying to find the zeros of it and the, because whenever it's set it equal to zero, we can find the zeros, meaning where it crosses the x-axis, as well as its minimum or maximum. So if you don't remember that, make sure you get that memorized. That is your quadratic equation or quadratic function. Okay, so first important note, there's a couple. First one is sometimes the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c will be written as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This symbol, which is read as f of x, is the symbol for a function. These equations are the same, so y and f of x are the same. So y and f of x, that's not really um, anything crazy, but it, I don't want students to get confused if they see f of x equals this. All this means is the function of x, which y and f of x can be interchanged. So those are the same thing. Don't let it throw you off if you see f of x. So these are your steps to finding the minimum or maximum of your quadratic equation. First, you will use the equation x equals negative b over 2a. So x equals negative b over 2a. To find the x value of the minimum or maximum of the parabola. But we do not stop there because then we have to find the y value and to do that you plug the x value back in to the equation that you got into this equation, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and then you simplify to figure out what your y would be. So those are the two steps you do to finding your minimum or maximum of your parabola. Second important note. Sometimes when they ask you what is the minimum or maximum value, they are only wanting to know the y value. The y value is the actual minimum or maximum value. That, the reason I point that out is because, like, you'll come up with the x, then you plug it in and get the y. Sometimes, like on the state test, for example, they don't want, like, an ordered pair with your x and y. They just want the y value. Because the y value is the actual top point or bottom point that we're dealing with. So if they ask for minimum or maximum, they might just be referring to what that y value is instead of both points. Okay, so through all that, let's go ahead and figure out how to find the minimum or maximum of a quadratic function. So the quadratic function we have here is 9x squared plus 
12x minus 1. So, first of all, here's the thing you, can, you should refer back to and understand. We look at the a value. So remember, you can list these out if you want. Your a value is that first number, 9. B is the next number, 12. And C is your last number, negative 1. Depending on what A is, whether it's positive or negative, will tell you if it's going to open upward or downward. So remember, with a positive Y value or a positive um, A value, this is going to open upward. Okay, if we refer back just to show you. Oops, sorry. Right here in the definitions it says when A is positive, for a minimum definition. The quadratic equation opens upward. So if we go back to here. We see that the a value is positive, so it's going to open upward. Meaning, if it's opening upward, we're going to have a minimum value. So we know that we're going to be finding the minimum in this quadratic function. Okay, so first we start by 